talk a lot about poo. When you have a pet, all of a sudden, especially as a puppy, it's all about the poop. All about the poop, isn't it, baby? Yes, it is. Look at the tail. I tell FGBB mini golden doodles and we are five weeks old yes temperament testing is tomorrow guys I will have the results out to you on Wednesday because picking for this litter is at week six this next Saturday we have one week to picking so you will get new video on Wednesday and temperament testing on Wednesday those who are picking via video uh, that'll help you guys go ahead and narrow down your choices and then of course we have some that we'll be picking um with facetime everybody has an appointment and you all uh should have received your picking pickup instructions those were emailed along with directions to kind of get you started here to see how we're going to do things so in this litter um this is a mini litter we have a few that are kind of small in this litter um Lavender here is the smallest. She is closer to a petite. She is not a red. She is a peanut butter color. She has lighter undercoating. Peanut butter, light red here, is dark pink collar girl. So there's two in this litter that have more of a coat that's resembling my Chiquita. Um, I will go ahead and put a picture of Chiquita up on the weekly update so you guys can go ahead and see that so you see what it looks like at week eight and then again what it looks like full grown but um there's a, a waviness to it but it almost resembles more of our english cream wavy coats and a very retriever looking face let me get red here <laughs> red is also a light a light red kind of dark peanut butter you can kind of see here with the three this is a traditional red and then you got these this peanut butter looking all right group pictures just didn't really even happen very well guys they're they're way too active you can see they're not going to do that <laughs> okay so we went through those three um temperament wise i mean this is just a very very loving group they absolutely want to be with people um if you are, I tell people to be prepared with your top favorites. If you are like pick um, six, then have your top six lined out. Um, if you think about you don't have a top six, then we need to talk about what your chances are of getting exactly what you're wanting in this litter. Um, okay, so here with more of an apricot is, yes, black collar boy. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes. And look at me as Lavender. <laughs> She's just jumping around. Okay, here's Orange Collar Boy with the little spot on his head. He's peanut butter. I'm a peanut butter boy. And peanut butter is just that. It's like a jar of peanut butter. Um, here is Yellow Collar Boy. He's also peanut butter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Who did I miss? Did I get everybody? No, I got a Turquoise Collar Girl is a peanut butter with white markings on her head. Can you see it in the light? On her head, on her chin, and just a tiny spot on her chest. And then, of course, the paw. Yes, yes. So this is what they're doing. And as you saw, um, Pink Collar Girl was, see our teethies, we got teethies. She's chewing, chewing, chewing. I mean, think about babies and teething. And to alleviate that, that pain because there is a little pain involved in teething and that's why babies cry a lot when they're teething but they also chew and that chewing helps now this teething will still happen once they're home so that's another reason why you need to 
continue having two toys for them. They, um, the retriever is, uh, we have mixed retriever and poodle lines here. And so, although we have tried to re put more retriever, you got, there you go. Little speck on your, on your coat. Even though we try to put a little more retriever in there, we still have the poodle in there to get their coats, um, that traditional, I forgot to brush my hair, wavy look, and then um, a non-shedding. That's what we're trying to do. But we do have more of a retriever in there. But when you're mixing a poodle and a retriever line, they're both retrieving dogs. And that means they have a very soft mouth. When they go retrieve, for instance, if you have a bird dog, they're gonna retrieve that and bring it back. And they have to bring it back without harming it. And so um, that soft mouth, that makes the teething even more um, sensitive. And as they get older, they do do a lot of chewing because of that soft mouth. It's a sensory thing. Whoa! Excuse the mismatched socks, guys. I tried. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I say lots of chew toys. Um, I, I got a, an email and a, a text. I get a lot of these, and I don't always get to answer everybody right away, but... A uh, big question is bully sticks, yes or no? For puppies, I say no. Um, they can get little pieces off and they can get lodged in their throat or even further down in the digestive system. So I say as they're older and able to, you know, chew on that a little better, yes, but in the younger stages, no. Um, I do like pig ears, or I need to also, you know, I guess I just need to go ahead and, and put a section there of some of my favorite things on the blog. Um, but Costco has some really good um, chew sticks that we like, and it's more like a rawhide, but it doesn't come off in tiny little pieces. So for a small puppy, they're going to be gnawing on that for a very long time. And I really like that. I like the pack that they come into. So, um, and I do like pig ears for chewing. It's a good size for them, but not too small so that they start having problems with it. So, and of course there's a lot of other artificial chew sticks that um, they can chew on. As with any toy, once it starts, you know, getting pieces off, like everybody gets one of these little footballs when they go home. Once they start taking these little pieces off, then, um, you know, you need to discard that. I've always talked about rope toys. Rope toys are awesome. I mean, eventually they might get a little string. You're gonna see that in their poo later. If you watch the English Retriever video, you know I was saying We talk a lot about poo. When you have a pet, all of a sudden, especially as a puppy, it's all about the poop. All about the poop, isn't it, baby? Yes, it is. Look at the tail. I tell people, puppy, yeah, you can tell puppies' reactions and their temperament and, um, their mood, I guess I should say, not temperament, is looking at that tail. If the tail is down, they're, they're um, not necessarily scared, but cautious, investigating. If that, you guys are not gonna be able to nurse on me. I'm sorry, that's just not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Um, but the tail lets you know what, what's going on. Once that tail is up and wagging, look at all those wagon tails. They're happy, they're playing. Yeah, all is well with the world. Yeah. So, yeah, look how tiny this one is. Look, you're small. I'm just a little girl. Yes. <laughs> a 15 collar girl. So, for those in this litter that are preferring a female, um, we just have the three. Lavender, dark pink, and turquoise. If dark pink is not going to be the coat that you want, then this is probably not the litter for you. You're probably wanting, if you're wanting a curly. This litter has zero curlies in it. No curlies at all. Yeah. They will all be the same wave. It's just a matter of how thick it is. And like I said, um, pink and red are probably gonna have a little, a little thinner coat. But as they get older, that coat does, and I'll show you a picture of Chiquita. I guess the um, thing that I really like about that coat is that it does not mat. So you can keep it long and you don't have to, I mean, you still need to brush it, but you're not gonna be dealing with all those mats where you have to shave them down. A uh, doodle that's not brushed or, I mean, it's always gonna happen, guys. You're gonna get some matting in a doodle coat. And um, you can always cut the mat out, or sometimes people will go ahead and their, their groomer will do a full shave down. 
These aren't fleece coats, so most groomers can go ahead and use a guard. And that way they can go ahead, or they can scissor cut. But if you ever have to shave down, some doodle owners have to shave down, that's okay, but the hair grows back. It's always growing. And so um, that poodle in them is always bringing that coat on. So, you know, it might take three months, four months to get that coat back. But if you ever have to do shave down, don't worry. You're gonna get that coat back. I remember the first time we shaved Duke and I cried. It, it was a, a night, Duke is, is um, trying to think how he might be related here. I can't even think guys, but um, and we have that snow here. We have that record snow here. We have 13 inches of snow. It's like a 30 year event. And um, Duke's coat was nine inches long and he was out there really enjoying it enjoying the snow and he got all for people that are live in uh climates that have snow you know that about your doodles they get those little snowballs all in their hair and yeah and eventually it was just too much so we had to go ahead and shave him down and i just cried and he looked embarrassed he would like kind of hide like oh my gosh where's my beautiful locks yeah what do you think <laughs> look at you guys look at Look, this personality, guys. Boop, boop. This personality is awesome. All right, who can sit for me? Are we all too too happy and energetic? Can you sit? Can you do good sit for me? Does Jessa have to be here to help us? Can you do good sit? Good sit? Who's chewing on my feet? Hey. No, I know that looks, <laughs> toes and fingers look awesome, but no, no, we're not going to do that. I know, you're like, that is awesome. Thank you for bringing the chew toy attached to your body. Look at you all, all y'all gathering around. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized, I told you picking is this week. This litter is not this week. They were born a day earlier, but I'm doing Sanjay's litter first because it's small and um, people's schedules, I'm doing that first. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Correction, correction. I'll put that on the screen here. Um, this picking is not this weekend. It is next Saturday. So not a week from today, but two weeks from today. So you guys have a lot of time for this litter before you actually make a decision. Sorry, I keep mixing up Sanjay and CDs because they were literally born like slightly less than 24 hours apart. Oh, yes, yes. So they're on the same schedule as far as temperament testing. They're on the same schedule as far as emails and everything. It's just our picking for this. So I'm sorry, sorry. Next, not, I mean, not, not this weekend, but the next weekend is when we'll do our picking for this litter. So I will send out that information. You guys should be getting that in your emails and directions. I think I started sending directions before doing this. Oh, oh, scratch, scratch. One thing you're gonna know with uh, notice with doodles is they're just mostly hair. They're mostly coat. And when you wash them, they go down to just, yeah. Practically nothing. All right, guys, we're gonna let you go. We're starting to settle down. They're all starting to climb on me. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Pinky is holy cow personable. Yes, look at you. All right, guys, have a good week and we will see you next week. And then uh, temperament testing will be sent out to you. Um, I know I said Wednesday, I was thinking Sanjay's litter. It will be sent out sometime during next week here. May not be quite Wednesday, because I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of emailing of Sanjay's litter, but we'll get it out to you as soon as possible. And then purchase contracts, they'll be getting out to you too before picking. Just trying to get all the emails tackled here. And we, what we do is I'm doing the emails in the order that the litters are going home. So that's my priority is those that are going home first, I'm tackling those first. All right, say bye-bye. See you next week.